guys welcome back to my channel I wanted to get on here and show you that I actually did an online order can you believe it I know right wow um the Coco and Reno um from peachy cheeps I seen and I'm like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and just get a subscription I want to get my eye my die sets going so I went ahead, the first one I got, and I didn't get it until Christmas, um, meaning I got it, but I put it under the tree and I haven't met, played with it. My first time playing with it is today, so it comes with all these wonderful goodies, um, and it's the Hello Winter, so here is what I have done. Um, it did come with this blue, look at that blue little bag. So I wanted to cut some of these out to let you see. Here's the little hat that you would get. I mean, I believe you could still get this, but I think it would be like $19.99 um, if you wanted. Um, some little gloves. Let's see if you can see it that way better. And I went ahead and see I kept the heart. There is another one around here, but I have a little, little one over here on my table. Um, even when I take her down, she comes right back up. So went ahead and did that. Um, some snowflakes, which I do adore the snowflake. I will say though, it is a little temperamental with the glitter paper because of the thickness. Yeah, it did not like me. Um, but guys, I'm also now just doing my die cutting. So I have not used my Gemini before anybody asked. Um, but there are a couple little snowflakes. And then I went ahead and did this one um, for like the ugly sweater. <laughs> to me, I think that's ugly. Um, but you couldn't see the details. So I went ahead and did a yellow one to show a little bit more of the detail. Ouch. Sorry. A little bit more of the details okay I do apologize with the light um, somebody has took my power cord um, the the snow sled and I think I've seen these I've seen that sled before I think Susan took Tootsie Tucker um, has this set I truly do or something like it because I remember this on her moose and I loved it and now I have it what, what? yes um, <laughs> so I went ahead and I just wanted to show you. And then the wording is hello winter. Um, again, this is also it, the heavier paper. It truly did not like me at all. So that was that set that I did. Um, so every month I will show you what I get. And if I don't think I will ever use it, it may go in a giveaway. Um, and my husband's okay with it. So this is the sec. Oh, wait, duh, that wasn't it. Um, the next thing was um, this. And I did a couple of them. And then that's the other part of it that you can add to it. But I was trying to figure out on this, I actually traced around the die itself so I could have a base um, to glue on. Now, here's my question because since I'm new at doing this, is there a way of when I cut the globe out that all of this stays together? Like, so that would stay on there. So then I could glue other pieces on it. That's my question. If anybody could let me know down below, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so I was playing with my die cutting machine. Because I wanted to show you that I do die cut. Um, not very often, but that's going to be changing here soon. So that was December set. And it was called, what was it called again, Sabrina? Hello Winter. So you guys, if you guys are interested or liked it, you know, I, I'm paying for this. They're not paying me for all this. Then, um, you can go get it. This month's, 
um, I got a lot of day ago and it's called heart and I'm like what I didn't look at it and nothing I wanted to be surprised when I opened it which was cool because I am adoring this one um, so I'm gonna flip you get the bag and you have this so it come if you guys don't know well except spring doesn't do it right it comes like this which I think is cool that you get a little bag every single time at least the last two times that I've done it so here are here's one of them it is a heart that would be awesome to put it like that yep um then I had a heck of a time with this and I don't know why I don't know if it's because of this and I'm just not used to it but it did not like me so I wanted to show you that if you do rip the one side like I did, oh well, things happen. Um, I went ahead and just made a half a heart, and I'm still going to keep it. I mean, you can, like, you could do something weird like this and make it a 3D heart or a 2D heart. Um, the next thing that came, dun -da -da, is it says you and me. Oh, don't like that black string there. I will bring it close to you in just a minute, guys. Um, two hearts twined together. I guess that's how I'm going to say that. Ooh, and not, oh, I did not get that little piece out. Where is my little poker thing? Where's my poker jabber thing? Oh, never mind. I got it. Um, then the a heart that has the word love. What is up with that? And then another heart <coughs> with the word hugs. So I'm going to lift this up so you guys can see them. If you guys are interested in this. So look how pretty them are. They, my machine doesn't like this heavy glitter paper. I don't know why. And then the, the one I said that I am going to love, here it is. Look at this cute little heart box, right? I mean, I had bent it up already so I could make it. But look, look how cute. I did not have it cut perfectly. I did not have to worry about it. I glued it. It did not take me that long. Done. Dun, dun, dun. So I've been putting these back in here. That's where it was. But look how cool that is. So yes, look guys. I did like one of my first online orders that I have a subscription now. Why? why? So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I might wait a year, and then after a year, I might just go ahead and change my mind and get something else. You know. All right. So, um, let's see. I have two project shares that I want to share with you. One is inspired by Miss Susan's little mug that she had made, um, and it came here, and I just love it. It stays on my table. I'm telling you, it's right there. Um, so here's what my expire my look at look how cute it is um this actually came from the dollar tree it's the tea set that they have in the toy section look how many that is um i do have a little candy cane i, I just gotta get it or a straw that i can put in there or or not um but i went ahead and spray painted which was one of my first times really spray painting i spray painted it when i spray painted the Christmas frame I did for myself. Um, did everything that Susan did in the inside. And I used the caulk from the Dollar Tree also. And then I diamond dusted. Um, and I did not wait. When it was wet, I, I put the diamond dust on it. Actually, you know what I really did? I put the diamond dust there and I went like this. <clears throat> um, that's <laughs> what I did and then like dit, 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 dit. that's that's how I did it um this is ribbon um and then and speak of the devil this is really funny um and then the stuff around here is the like glitter glue that I actually got from Suzanne and this was kind of cool I did not know this I've never played with this it's three colors all in one which I'm loving for Christmas so like if you look like one time you'll see green the next time you'll see the silver next time you'll see red I am loving it um, but yes this is ribbon look how cute them are 
So that is what I've been doing. I have, I think, four or five of these. Um, the other thing that I wanted to try my thing, as you can see, it's she's right there. And I have a mess, but let's see if you if I can bring you up to show you. There is Miss Thing right there. There's Bootsy. There's my mess. You guys wanna see my mess? What what? Okay. Let's take you down here. Um So here is my very first ever gnome. I told you on my Dollar Tree haul that I was gonna try not to haul anything unless I was using it now. So I'm trying. Ping pong ball, um, sock, mop head, beans is in this one. Uh, and then this is actually, um, oh, what is it called? It's like a frame thing that I had uh, got at, at actually a garage sale and I cut it. But I put, when I, the year I did it, handmade with love, my name is Fifth Crafter. Mrs. Crafty is what I put. Um, but, yeah, I was, I didn't want, I'm not for sure about this, but I did do, I did go and find a tutorial. And if I can find it, I will link it down below, which I'm pretty sure. So I will link it down below if you guys want to do this one with the arms. Um, I don't know if I like the arms exactly like this. I might glue them on, I don't know, somehow. I just don't, I don't know. Just lay in there, it just kind of looks like, like a dork, 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 Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, the thing that got me the most is I had fun doing it, um, is the lace here. Um, yeah, hot glue and I burnt my finger a couple times. But I didn't want it as just Christmas. Um, I wanted it that this one does not have a home yet. Um, but I wanted it to where they could have it all year round or if they just wanted Christmas or Valentine's Day because it does have little hearts um, on her hat and on her buttons but her she's got little bows with little other bows and them actually were at the Dollar Tree at one time they're um, I don't remember what they were for but I wanted a couple of little girls what is that get off there um, yeah so, this is my first gnome ever, which is easy. I had fun doing it. Um, I will say that I, I did have a really fun time making her. Um, but I do have two more. And it is a little boy and a little girl. And here she comes. I will do the little girl first. Look how cute she is. Again, this was the... Oh, gosh. Yuck. This was from the Dollar Tree, the little chalkboard heart. Um, I, I wanted to incorporate almost this kind of color because I didn't have it. Um, down here on the stitching, kind of. And she's got moons and stars. So I don't like how that feels back here, so we'll fix that. But yeah, and then these I got from um, Carrie Martin. Um, she gifted them to me. So I used some of them. And then I had these in my stash. So, And these are kid socks. These are um, like Zach size sock is what I used. Um, the first one is the adult size. And I haven't seen a lot of people do the kid size. But I just think... I mean, the difference is here. Maybe if I do it this way. Okay. There is quite, I mean, it's substantial. Now, yes, I use the same King Pong, everything, but, you know, she's glued to there. So there is the first toddler miss. And her brother or her friend is right here. Look how cute he is. All right. So, yes, I did mine different. Um, I used the same, so they are a set. So, this is going to someone. Look how cute they are, though. The little girl is bigger. 
um, than the little boy. Not by much, though. Not by much. But, um, so, they do have bean. I use the beans. I'm not for sure what I like yet. If it's beans, I'm still working on that. Um, so he's, he was a little easier in one part and hard in the other because of this. This is that, um, yarn I had gotten on Clarence this summer. And, yeah. So, look how cute he is. I mean, you could do this with this, but I just wanted something different. And, you know, this is a gift for someone, so... As of right now, she will get the first ever mini gnomes that I did. Now, there are a couple differences in this, other than he doesn't have anything here, and he's fluffy here. He's got a real big beard, let me tell you. Um, they are same hat, same heart down here. Um, her, the heart is a little different. I think it's brown down here. It does have when I made it and who made it by, um, they each have like that has a star. This has moon and star. This has a pom pom. Like this is actually a pom pom from it. This one, because it's a boy, his hat is a little different and I went ahead. He does not have a pom pom. I cut little strips. So then he's got like little, little cut, like little things with a, Oh, I'm out of frame. A little cut with a little star. Little stars. So that is what I have for you guys. Um, little Miss thing is is over here. I do want to show you one thing. I went to the Dollar Tree and I'm thinking I probably won't use these for... I will have to save these. So, guys, I do apologize, but if you guys are into Halloween, this would be a perfect time to get some of these. Um, they have their St. Patrick's Day stuff, and they have the foam cauldron. Halloween is what I was thinking. You know, um, I won't have to cut any out. Um, you could do it on either side. You get 12 for a dollar, so... Guys, if you're really into some Halloween gifting and stuff like this, and um, you really want these, go check your do Dollar Tree. They are out now on mine. They're just getting their St. Patrick's Day stuff out. But I, you know, even though my birthday is around that time, actually that day, I don't do a lot of Halloween stuff, but or St. Patrick's Day stuff, but I do more Halloween. So... Just one day, guys, to keep you in the loop if you guys were thinking, oh, no, and you needed cauldrons, this. Also, the black cauldrons that nobody could find last year that were the 3D ones until the end, they have them out for St. Patty's Day. So, guys, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed my project share and my share of my subscription. I don't have anything for you. So, guys, um... It's going to be a hit or miss with the things I am doing. I will get back into routine. Hopefully, there are things going on that is not in my control. Um, so, things are going to be changing here. Um, the kitten is not... She's, I think, now going on six weeks, but she is not. So, I am bottle feeding her. So, I am not getting a lot of sleep. So, guys, if I don't respond to you, it's not because I don't want to. I'm probably zonked out somewhere. Medicine's still giving me a hard time. I'm just trying to be upbeat, and I'm trying to use my word for the year is going to believe. I believe everything's going to be fine, all that type of stuff. So, guys, I have got you here for more than almost 20 minutes. If you guys need prayers, let me know. Um, I have my little prayer thing going um, right now. Um, you guys want to contact me, go ahead and email me. Find me on Instagram. Instagram is the uh, Sabrina Crafty Mom and Son. I am not changing that. Um, so, guys, until next time.
keep crafting and bye y'all